Hello everyone, my name is Defton and today we are going to learn about uh, unpacking archive files for MGS5. So uh, in this video we will talk about the tools that we are going to use. First of all I encourage you all to visit again Metal Gear Modding Wiki because we have a handful of tools av uh, available for us, 11 of them actually. We are not going to use all of them, we are only going to use GZS tool, FTX tool, Auto PFT access tool, language tool, and Phi Monolith. By clicking these links, you can read about them. For example, here is GZS Tools documentation. I really encourage you to, if not, if for nothing else, just take a glimpse at it. It will help you a lot. You can download these from uh, the GitHub pages. The GitHub pages also have some documentation on them, so here is more thing for you to read. Okay, uh, these will be in the description. Some of them also can be found on Nexus, so it really is up to your preference, but uh, GitHub pages are more uh, frequently updated. Unless we are talking about PyMonolith. Because PyMonolith uh, is always updated on both pages. Okay, so once we have them downloaded, we have five archive files. So auto PFT access tool, PyMonolith, Fox Engine Translation tool or Lang tool, FTX tool and GZS tool. I went ahead and uh, already set them up, so all you have to do with these archives is to just unpack them and these will work out of the box. So first things first, uh, we will work with Phi Monolith because this is the latest one and uh, this is what we are going to use to unpack the files first before we uh, use any tool on them. Okay, to do this, first we need to open the local directory of mgs5tpp and uh, from the pre previous uh, video you can remember the master folder and here are all the dead files so these uh, are containing all the game data that we are going to use and even in uh, zero that directory and one that directory uh, there are dead files that uh, we should unpack so first things first we have file monolith setup Okay, Phi Monolith is a compilation of different tools of Archive Unpacker, Phi Profiliator, Phi Name Updater and Max Texture Converter. For this video we are going to use Archive Unpacker and then Max, uh, Max Texture Converter. Okay, so feel free to open Archive Unpacker. Here is the UI for it. So under Archives you will need to browse for uh, the files that are in the master directory inside ngs.tpp, so your install folder. You, can, you need to select all the date fi uh, dot files. You can select even these ones. These will not yield any results, uh, but will not cause any harm either. And after you have done this, so let's say from chunk 0 to texture 4, actually I encourage you to leave chunk 7 and texture 7 uh, out of the selection, because these are made by Snakebite. Okay, here are the archives, and then on the output folder uh, is where it will uh, unpack the files for you. So I'm not going to unpack them here in the video because it would take too much time, but I'll show you how they will look like once they are unpacked. So uh, I already have a folder set up for my personal project, uh, it's unpacked files. Uh, I highly encourage you to put all files into one directory for ease of access and uh, for the mass texture converter to have an easier time working on them. Okay, let's say that you have already converted everything that is here in master. After this, you should uh, unpack what is inside 0 and 1, 2. But uh, make sure that these overwrite uh, the unpacked files. So all you have to do now, let's say from chunk 0 to texture 4, we already have unpacked everything. Then you are just going into 0, MGS, TPP update, 0 again. Browse these two files. Select the output folder again to be uh, unpacked files. And just let it do it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Okay. So this is all that uh, Archive Unpacker is uh, going to be good for us. Now we have all the raw files of the game. But we are not really uh, able to do anything with them. So first things first, 
let's uh, convert our textures. For mass texture converter, all you have to do now is to browse the unpacked files directory because all the raw file textures are here and uh, it will convert it to .dds files. .dds files we can uh, modify easily with the DDS plugin and using Photoshop or GIMP. Again, I'm not going to do it right here. I'm just showing you that uh, there is a directory also set up for converted textures. Converted textures directory will be uh, really useful later down the line when we are going delving into model editing and doing custom texture path. Okay, this is for Phi Monolith for now. Phi Profiliator and Phi Name Updater will come later uh, when we are about to pack our first mod that we made. Okay, what other mods? Sorry, what other tools we have? We have Auto PFT Access, FTEX, GZS, and Language Tool. Okay, let's start with FTEX Tool because we already talked about textures. FTEX Tool is responsible for converting textures. Basically, this is do the same thing uh, as Mass Texture Converter do, or vice versa, because FTEX Tool predates uh, the Texture Converter. So let's dig up some textures. Let's see what is it, what it is about. Okay, so unpacked files. You can see here these are textures too. So FTEX and FTEX uh, X, FTEX X. Sorry, native language coming in. Okay, but you can see them. All right. So to have a DDS file, we need to have the FTEX file index and all the other FTEX S files. So it's sometimes three files, sometimes two files, but it's mostly three files. And uh, if you don't have them, then FTEX tool will give you an error, so you will uh, know that something is missing. Okay, I have no idea what this could be, uh, the texture of, so we are going to look for something that I'm familiar with. We are going into Asset, PPP, Character. Let's see what Snake has to offer to us. Okay, go into Pictures, and here are Snake's raw textures. Okay. Oh, sorry, this is not Snake, this is Sam. <laughs> this is going to be Snake. All right. So let me find a, something that we will recognize instantly if we see it. These are face textures, hair, horn, mane. Okay, Snake 0, mane 0, arm. Snake 0, mane 0, death. Okay. I try to find texture. But okay, BSM. Perfect. This should be uh, one of Snake's camels. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, browse for the tool, FTEX tool actually, but I'm going to go through uh, as if it uh, weren't available. So, mod tutorial, mods, tools. FTEX tool, and here it is FTEX tool. And when I press open, it will uh, open a command prompt for a really short amount of time. It will uh, give us a DDS file from these three files. Sorry, four files. And here, the, here is the DDS file, as you can see. I'm not going to open it. Uh, I have Sage, th Sage, th <laughs> Sage Thumbs installed. With this, we can preview it. Okay. So this is one of his arms, and uh, the texture is like this because the avatar uses it. But as you can see, it gave us a perfectly usable texture that we can edit. Okay, this is for FTEX file. As, and uh, also FTEX tool can convert the DDS files back to FTEX and FTEX S files. So once you're done editing a DDS file, you should uh, run it through FTEX tool then you will have the textures that the game can use. Okay, uh, that's it for now. We will return to it once we are into texture editing. Alright. So the next tool I would like you to be familiar with is GZS tool. GZS tool basically does what Archive Unpacker did to us, but it also works on a 5 to 5 basis. And uh, it, is really hand uh, it is really handy if we are only uh, want to unpack one file at a time. So, and uh, this was used before uh, Archive Unpacker to archive the dot files. 
I'm actually going to uh, unpack a dat file for you with it. For that, we have to visit master directory again. Hmm, let's see what we have. Let's unpack chunk one. So again, browsing. Select the GZS tool. And let it work. So as you can see, uh, it is showing you real time what files it is unpacking. I can open it uh, meanwhile it's doing it, because uh, the file I would like to show you is already unpacked. So let's see. Let's get into ddocs files. And here are the fpk, fpk, the fpkd, and pft access files. So let's open ddocs pft access file. For this, we need to choose Auto PFT Access Tool. As you can see, it gave us uh, a directory. Uh, and here are another chunk of text texture files. One thing to note about PFT Access files is that they never contain uh, all the textures. These can be think uh, of as shortcuts to the textures or these are being loaded while the game is snatching the actual textures from the corresponding texture that file. So I only want you to be familiar with PFT access to this because uh, it was previously a method that was used to replace textures, but nowadays we are using uh, custom texture paths. But there are some mods on Nexus that still use this uh, method because uh, it became really popular and uh, custom texture paths sometimes a little bit harder to set up for people. That was before uh, we were using uh, FMDS Studio on a massive scale. Okay, so all it does really is just uh, give you textures. That's it. It is more like a legacy tool than anything else. Uh, that extends for GZS tool and FTEX tool too, but these are still relevant, still more useful. Okay, and then we have language tool. Language tool uh, allow us to modify the text that is found in game. For example, let's see, uh, let's uh, say that you want to change the description of maybe the bionic arm. You can do it with language tool, but uh, we will delve into it a little later. So I just wanted uh, you to know that uh, that too is possible to do. <laughs> that too is possible to do. All right, and I think. That's all of it. So uh, at the end of it, uh, make sure that you have all the unpacked files in one folder, done by Archive uh, Unpacker, and also all the converted texture files, done by the Mass Texture Converter. And uh, since they take a lot of time to complete, both unpacking the files and converting the files, in the meantime, you can just read the wiki and check out the other tools. Okay, that's it. Uh, so now you have all the tools set up and uh, all the files deciphered. Then later on we can start working on actual mods. Okay, thank you for listening. See you next time.